good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech. I made this video a long time ago about the Ender 3 and how you can use pause and resume to get two colors on a machine that does not have two color capabilities. So my Ender 3 is locked up at school so I can't test it, but I do have a GE Tech A10 I can test it on and I had a user that asked me just lately, how do you get the auto pause to work? So my friends, let's get cracking. Alright friends, so I am in Cura 4.6, I've got my GE Tech A10 loaded. Let's go to the 3D modeling folder and that thing was named Heart Keychain and I had my initials after it. So when it comes in, it is this large and it's going to take 14 minutes to print. Note this little guy. I'm going to delete that real quick and I'm going to teach you what it is and then I'm going to remind you to always double check and see if you see it there because you may not want to use it on the current print because it was built for another print. So we want to change filament when the letters happen. The best way to track that down is to go to preview and then if you look at the preview layers you can see the design be created. So right here is where love starts to exist and it is on layer 7. So I'm going to go over to extensions, post processing, and I'm going to modify the g-code that we already sliced down here. Under add a script, we're going to go down and choose filament change. We want to change filament at layer 7, and then we can hit close, and we've got our little script loaded, and now my computer has connected and we can print via USB. So my friends, let's see what we get. All right, so there is the pause at layer seven automatically, and the screen says filament change, so the nozzle is heating. I'm gonna get my spare filament clipped, and right there, it has started. First it pulled it in to purge a little, and now it's extracting the filament on its own. Now this is using the firmware that I showed videos how to install by vert. I'm going to squeeze to pull out a little bit and now I'm going to push my firmware in or my filament in. Now the screen is beeping asking me if I'm ready so I'm going to press the button so it heats a little bit again and now it'll pull in that filament I just added there it goes. I can feel it being pulled through. Let's see if we get filament coming out over here. Yep, there's the purge of the old gray. and the new white. <laughs> Do not need that stuck up there. And the screen says purge more and I'm going to tell it continue instead because it's ready. It looks like layer 7 might have had a little bit more. Um, I should have done layer 8. Alrighty friends, so I cannot verify this works for an Ender 3. I need somebody out there to do that test for me. But using Burt's firmware on the A10, you can see it worked like a champ. The only thing that I messed up was I should have went to layer 8 instead of layer 7, so I didn't have that little white thing on top. All in all though, I do think it turned out pretty darn cool. 
Friends, if you do choose to use this, always make sure you keep an eye out for the scripts. Uh, the next time you run, you will need to shut that off so that script is not there if you don't want to use it on your next print. If you're doing the same type print, doesn't matter. But if you're doing something different, you don't want it to pause and switch filament for no reason. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.